Well, hi, it's Kevin, and I'm coming to you today from my bathroom. You might think it's strange that a children's message for church would come from a place like this, but we're going to find out in today's Bible story, well, this is where the action took place, or didn't take place. You see, we're looking at David. David, who is known as the best king Israel ever had, a man after God's own heart. But David wasn't always the king. One time he was a shepherd, and he did shepherd things. And God came to him through a prophet and said, you are going to be the king, a good king over Israel. Well, Israel already had a king, a man by the name of Saul, and Saul wanted to stay being king. There's good things about being the king. You have all this kind of power. You can do what you want. You can have a wife or two or three. Well, so anyway, Saul didn't want to stop being king. He even went so far as to try and kill David. We find out in 1 Samuel chapter 24 that Saul's army was chasing David and his men. When Saul, well, he had to go use the bathroom. And they didn't have rooms like this back then. Instead, he went in and found the corner of a cave. He didn't know that David was actually hiding in the shadows in that cave. David had a chance to kill Saul, to stop it, and be king. It would have been so easy. But David was a better man than that. He knew that God had put Saul on the throne in the first place, and he wanted God's timing to be the right timing, not his own. And so when he had a chance to kill Saul, he didn't do it. Now afterwards, David told Saul and all of the army with him that he had had that chance and gave proof. Here's what Saul said. You are more righteous than I, he said. You have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. You have just now told me of the good you did to me, that the Lord delivered me into your hands, but you did not kill me. May the Lord reward you well for the way you treated me. Sometimes bad things happen to us. People can hurt us. It can be on purpose. It can be by accident. Maybe your little brother accidentally elbowed you. And I don't know about you big brothers and sisters, but like me, you might get angry and want to take it back on them. Or maybe there's even something done on purpose to you, and you want to get revenge. But as we learn from David, revenge isn't the best way. Saul, who had been trying to kill David, recognized that his way was wrong. And David's, God's way, was right. Not getting revenge, but leaving it in God's hands, because God is going to take care of the rest. Well, let's pray that we might also make these right decisions like David. Father God, we thank you for all of these stories of the game changers in the Bible. We thank you for David's example of how to live our lives by listening to you and recognizing, well, what you have done. Let us listen to your voice when we're about to make a decision that could, well, maybe get us in trouble or be the wrong thing to do. Help us to make the right choices, whether we're mad, whether we're having accidents, or whether we're just trying to live day to day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope that your bathroom is safer than mine and safer than Saul's was. And I hope that when you have tough choices to make, that you'll listen to God and do the right thing. God bless.